Hello people, it's Christmas 2018, it's Christmas as you can see and uh, you'll probably get it probably like in the middle of next year eh? so I wish you all a happy Christmas, a Merry Christmas to you all and uh, in this world full of violence and our pharaohs trying to kill us by the millions you know so I wish you a Merry Christmas anyway. It's a, um, it's a pharaonic holiday anyway. It's all by Pharaoh, all this Christmas religious hocus pocus, you know. If there is, a cre there is a creation, I'm convinced about it. Intellectually speaking, there must be a creation. And uh, because the body and everything is too complicated, it can't be there by, uh, you know, by coincidence. Um, then the creation gave you a mind to think and not just religious hocus pocus and to hope for 2000 years that there's some something in the air you know is going to help you we've been waiting for 2000 years and we're the only hope of this creation to to end the evil ones nobody's gonna help us there's nothing gonna happen eh? so wish you a merry christmas and think about that eh? Of pharaohs. Yeah. So, you know, it's a uh, historical fact that actually, uh, historically seen, Christians are the biggest killers in history. You know, Chris, uh, Christmas, Christians, this one here. Millions of Christians murdered, killed millions of other Christians in two world wars. You know, it's, it's, it's the worst misery that has been brought upon mankind. That's Christianity. You know, like turn the other cheek, you know, and believe what the, like what, what our masters say, you know. And we, I like facts. It's a historical fact that Christians killed cr m millions of other Christians in two world wars. And um, I mean, in those days, people were still really Christians. So all these nowadays Christians, and let me tell you, I've got nothing against Christians really. I'm just going to the facts. I'm a historian. I like facts and we do facts here in this channel and in those days especially before the first world war everybody was going into church there's so many churches now they're all empty i mean why are they still there they're just empty nobody uses them Could make an apartment out of them or a little castle maybe everybody you know all they were real christians so all Christ nowadays sort of christians would say will come always with the conditions, no, they were not real Christians, a real Christian doesn't do that and all that. No, they were real Christians. On paper, everybody was a Christian in those days. Christian holidays, um, everything. People were praying, they, they're going to church, everybody did. They were Christians and they killed millions of other Christians. You know, like George Carlin, he said, Christianity. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't we try it? Nobody ever tried it. There is no Christianity. It should be an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. We shouldn't accept it anymore. What our masters do to us. We shouldn't believe them anymore. Go back to the Old Testament. Forget about the New Testament. It brings misery. <coughs> and the old world order, the king, the real kings of those days, they never did this. It was the Republicans, the Republic, with millions of people, big armies, killing others. It's the New World Order, the horizontal rule. They did it, the Republicans. The divine rule of the king never did this, never had this. There was peace. Not, not like that. Maybe a little skirmish, you know. Christians are the biggest killers. That's a fact. So just stop it. It's a bad idea. We tried it for 2,000 years and it's all going tits up. Just forget it.
Sorry, slight correction. The guy who said about Christianity, good idea, let's go try it. That wasn't George Carlin, but it was, uh, of course, it was uh, Jacques Fresco of the Venus Project. Incredible mind. Sorry for that. Probably getting old, eh? Forgetting things. Sorry, Jacques. Well, this is the last time I'll be here in Italy. I'm not going to Italy anymore. It's getting really fascist now. And it's Christmas. Yeah. I'm all alone here for about, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks. And uh, don't think, you know, that they, our masters, will let anybody <coughs> celebrate another religion than theirs. It's all theirs. It's all Middle Eastern stuff. It's all Pharaonic, the whole religion, the whole thing. Mohammed, Jesus, the whole God thing. I believe there's a creation because intellectually it's not possible otherwise, you know, somebody made it. Oh, it looks like a bloody swastika at the table. Look at that. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, it's all theirs. They would never ever let you believe anything else than their state religion. Their pharaonic state religion. It's all Horus worship, worship or whatever. Eh? And uh, now Eh? Wild cats. To me, they're not so wild anymore because I, you know, fed them a lot of a lot of food. Hey, no, eh? They don't even run away anymore. Oh well, no, they did. Okay, maybe because I talked about Switzerland, eh? So it's quite slippy, as you can see. So I walk on on the old side, the old Roman side or whatever. So I have to stop filming now. I was already out of the army for a while and um, then I, I was visiting some mates and then a Gurkha, he came in and he showed me a video which he bought just right, right after 9-11. And um, so this guy, he, he came to me and um, or oh, look at this son I buy new video it's uh, it's about mountain mountaineering mountain troops yeah Gurkha mountain troops maybe learn some mountain tricks so show me the video then Oh bloody hell, broke back mountain, are you taking a piss out of me? No, no, no piss, no take piss, it's uh, Gurkha mountain troops and uh, this is, um, I learned some new mountain tricks, yeah? Now mate, this video is not at all about mountaineering and you don't want to learn those tricks, do you now, eh? <laughs> yeah, then why, why does it say Blockback Mountain? <laughs> no mate, it's not, it's not a bloke's back. Well it is actually, but oh bloody hell, I'm going to explain this white man's gender bender stuff to this bloke here. <laughs> what, what gentleman? What is gentleman? No, no, it's not, it's not for gentlemen at all. <laughs> it's not for gentlemen at all. It's not very gentle either. Yeah, but, 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 oh my head. <laughs> oh, but, uh, but entitled, entitled says mountain. Why mountain? Yeah, because, uh, uh, I've got too long hair for that, eh? 
<laughs> because it's, it says mountain, because if you're on all fours, eh? Well, it looks like a mountain, you know, and then, you know, like this, eh? <laughs> it only shows the back, and it's not about mountaineering, it's, not, it's more about mounting, really. The animals do it too, you know, you can see that on TV. <laughs> Or now I understand I buy animal documentary. Yeah, my animal stuff there is, eh? <laughs> oh, but on in the it shows a picture of the of mountain. Why mountain picture on the why mountain picture? <laughs> Well, because they are the, these are the proverbial um, gender bender mountains of Los Angeles and uh, New York. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no, now you're taking piss out of me. In New York, no mountains, no, only, only skyscrapers and 9-11. <laughs> Okay, well, you want to talk about 9-11 then, eh? Well, okay, then you, I'll explain it like this. You pretend your little brown willy is an airplane and your, and your mate's legs are the, the twin towers. Oh, bloody hell. Now I'm not going to explain that to you, eh? Um, well, you have to look at that, that video yourself. I don't want to hear another word about it anymore. <clears throat> Okay, boss. Okay, boss. Not angry now. It's only it's only film. It's only a movie. Uh, well, I show you a war movie very soon. If you don't f go away now, turn around and walk away and turn me your back. Oh, or like block back. <laughs> like blocks back. <laughs> oh, well, I'm. I'm going to show you what to do with that gender bender stuff. Okay, I just punched the 9mm in it, a 9mm hole is just big enough to put your little brown willy through. Or... <clears throat> or yes, but about the animal documentary, we also have on the... Uh, in India, we got the, the, the Kama Sutra, we go on, on the old forks, yes, even on the old ones. Well, actually, actually, it's not... It's not a... It's, it's not an ancient thing, it's something... It's a fairly new tendency. In the ancient days, you know, you got severely beaten up for it. If you wanted to copy and... and and, and practice at home the animal documentary. Okay, well, I hope I'll never gonna see that shit. I punch a little hole in it, the gender bender stuff. Okay, that's it, eh? Enough of it.